ever listen to an author read and you start to nod off, here's why. Hi, I'm Autumn Bardot. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you for joining me today. Here you will find quick tips, author tools, and hopefully even a little bit of inspiration. Today we're going to discuss how to read your novel aloud. Lots of Instagrammers and book bloggers on Facebook provide opportunities for authors to read an excerpt from their book. This is awesome and amazing. And these book bloggers and reviewers, thank you so much. It's an amazing thing for an author to do, but it's also really easy to blow it. You need to make the most out of the excerpt reading opportunity. Now, some of you know that I am a teacher and as a teacher, I often read, well, I read Shakespeare to them because they put the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable. But a lot of times I will read passages to them because I'm reading it the way I want them to hear it. And so often you have to bring energy and emotion to your reading excerpt. I have 10 guidelines for reading excerpts out loud. Here we go. Keep the reading short, five to 10 minutes, 15 maybe max. The problem is if you go longer than 15 minutes, People start losing interest. They're maybe checking their phone. They're, it's hard to keep somebody's attention, to keep them riveted, unless you are a professional actor or actress. I've listened to readings that go on for 30 minutes and that's too long. Number two, introduce yourself. Quickly, in a sentence or two, introduce yourself, introduce your book, provide context. A sentence or two really is all you need. This is the scene where the character does this. And of course, but I don't even know why I need to say this, choose a riveting scene. The reason for the excerpt is you want them to say, oh, oh, that sounds really good. I have to buy that book. So two is introduce yourself and three is to provide some brief context that comes at a really cool, interesting scene. Number four, I like to read from the actual book. I think it just looks a little bit more old school, but in a cool way. A lot of people will kind of swipe their screen, especially if they're on a Zoom call or Facebook Live, and they're just reading the text that is on the screen. I like holding the book and you're gonna find out why in a minute. Number five is slow down, slow down, slow down. Authors read too fast too quickly. Number six is enunciate and speak clearly. It's hard to enunciate and speak clearly if you're reading too fast. This is the single biggest issues. No, these are the single biggest issues that I see reading too quickly, not enunciating and not speaking with emphasis. Number seven is read with feeling. It's your book, you wrote it. Read it like you heard it in your head. That's how you need to convey the emotion to the people listening with feeling. And here you have to kind of summon the muse. You have to summon the, the muse that is the actress to bring out that extra emphasis. A lot of times when I hear authors reading, it starts to sound like that Charlie Brown teacher. Rah, rah, rah. That's all I hear. Emphasis. You need emphasis. 
Here is an example, and I'm going to show you the difference between a passage read with emphasis and a passage read without emphasis. And so I'm just going to give you context because you already know my name, and I will be reading from The Impaler's Wife. It comes sort of in the beginning when Alana is going to be married off to somebody else. This is the scene in the carriage as they're driving to their next destination and she's ready to get married. Hoofbeats thundered by, guards shout. I lower the flask. The, the carriage lurches, slams me into the side. The flask clatters to the floor. The white-faced Luigi della Scala peeks through the curtain. Bandits. He latches the wood shutter closed and reaches for his scimitar. My men will make swift work of them. Someone pounds on the roof. Cold with terror, I yank the fur blanket to my chin. What's happening? Shut up. Della Scala wipes the sweat from his brow. The shouts grow louder, cries mixing with shrieks. And then a blood-curdling scream outside rips all breath from my lungs. I shove my fist into my mouth, bite down on my thumb and look to Della Scala for comfort. He's bloodless with fear, his scimitar shaking in his hand. Here's a different reading, the way you want to read it, the way I want you to hear it and see it in your head. Hoofbeats thunder by, guards shout. I lower the flask. The carriage lurches, slams me into the side. The flask clatters to the floor. The white-faced Luigi della Scala peeks through the curtain. Bandits! He latches the wood shutter closed and reaches for his scimitar. My men will make swift work of them. Someone pounds on the roof. Cold with terror, I yank the fur blanket to my chin. What's happening? Shut up, Della Scala wipes sweat from his brow. The shouts grow louder, cries mixing with shrieks. And then, a blood-curdling scream outside rips all breath from my lungs. I shove my fist into my mouth, bite down on my thumb, and look to Della Scala for comfort. He's bloodless with fear, his scimitar shaking in his hand. What sounded like the better read? Number eight, and I gave you a bit of an example. I pause, which is why I kind of like reading it from the book. I pause and I looked into the screen. I looked at my audience. I can do this on a Facebook Live. I can do this on a Zoom. I can do this anytime I do a reading. And I can do it live if I'm sitting on a stool, you know, in a library or at a function. I can make eye contact with people. I can look around. I can pause. It builds that anticipation. You hope that they're hanging on every word. Think of each sentence as a hook and you want to leave off at a hook. What happened? Was it really bandits? So number nine is look up and make eye contact or at least pretend to make eye contact. Raise your eyebrow, purse your lips, smirk, whatever will work for the passage. Look like you're having fun. You are, aren't you? And number 10 is slow down. Oh, I said that already, right? That's how important it is to slow down when you read. I know you're nervous, it's very difficult. Always try to practice and I usually set my phone tap the timer and read slowly. It goes fast, especially when you're reading your own story. The important thing is you want them to click the buy link, right? You don't want to read them as much story as possible. You want to read with as much feeling and pick the correct passage so that they want to know what happened next so that they get the style and emotion and feeling of your novel. Thank you so much for joining me today. And as always, writers, dream, create, and embrace. 
拜拜。